So, Suen, I was just reading the H uh, Weekly, uh, the latest edition of the H Weekly, and you know, you were writing for the State of the Nation with a question, a very interesting question: Who controls corporate Malaysia? Now, I think this was stemmed from your, uh, you know, visit or your attendance to public lecture by UM Professor Gomez, right? What was the key takeaway from the lecture, and how does that? This article here. Well, that question, who, who owns and com controls corporate Malaysia, was the starting point of his uh, research. Um, he, I think he's always been uh, interested in that question. Right. Um, just to rewind that a little bit, I think when we, when we try to figure out who owns uh, corporate Malaysia, who controls corporate Malaysia, we always think of it as a private sector initiative. Uh, Professor Terence Gomez's uh, study has found that um, Corporate Malaysia is actually controlled, quite tightly controlled by uh, by the government. Um, how this uh, how this is happening is uh, because the government controls seven, um, at least seven federal uh, GLICs, government-linked uh, investment companies, and these seven in turn control a very complicated web of um, companies, some listed and some um, unlisted. I mean, I'm trying to understand this, you know, does the government have a business to be in a business? I mean, what is, what is the key takeaway from the lecture that you attended? Opinions are very, very divided on that question. Should the government be in business? Um, there's one view that thinks that the government really, really should stay out of business um, and that the government should just really focus on governing, i.e. Uh, creating the appropriate policies and um, playing the regulator role. But um, on the other end of the, the spectrum, there are people who also believe that the state must own uh, strategic uh, companies or strategic uh, enterprises. Uh, for example, um, often mentioned uh, are things uh, like public uh, utilities, uh, Tanaga, for instance, right? Tanaga, uh, you know, um, electricity supply, water, uh, ports, uh, railway. So. Really, I mean, this, this matter can be debated ha, or has been debated for years and it really depends on where, where you stand, you know. So when we have this uh, government controlling one trillion ringgit of worth of assets and of course somewhat like 6,000 companies, you know, is this, you know, should be a cause for concern? Uh, yeah, actually, the, 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 scale, that, uh, the, the scale of the, the, the control, I think this is uh, probably the, the first time uh, somebody's attempted to quantify you know, how much is uh, held or indire directly and indirectly controlled uh, by the government. Uh, from the early studies that Professor Gomez and his team ha uh, has done, they found that um, the seven uh, GLICs um, control a really, really uh, substantial amount of the economy. For example, um, if they looked at all the shareholdings of the seven GLICs uh, and the listed companies that they own and down one level into the subsidiaries, uh, associates and minorities that they own, um, there are some 407 companies. Uh, Gomez and his team also took the analysis down 10 levels of ownership and they found that it involves 6,342 uh, companies. Um, that's a staggering amount. Right, that's um, a lot of companies and how long did it take a lot for Professor Gomez to really you know, complete the study? I think this is a very preliminary, right? It is, it is. Uh, I, I think he intends for this to be a longer term study. He's had a, a, a great team of researchers uh, help him along. But can you imagine, um, this is just the early part of the study and it's already uncovered such a magnitude of uh, control and, and ownership. So it'll be really interesting to see what else um, Professor Gomez and his team uh, uncovers. I think one of the questions that people have been trying to, to answer is uh, what has the presence of GLCs and GLICs in the Malaysian economy cost the Malaysian economy? Right. Um, it ties back to your earlier question on whether this is a good thing or, or a bad thing. Um, we, the nature of our economy is such that there are state-owned enterprises or, or government-linked companies, uh, as we call them. Yeah, what about governance? You know, we've seen some companies, GLCs. You know, we have politicians on, on the board of the companies. You know, how, how does Professor Gomez and his team uncover this? Actually, the, the interesting thing about his study is that he's found that there seems to be fewer politicians on the board of all these government-linked companies. That's the, the interesting trend that he's kind of uh, observed. Well, it may have been true many, many decades ago, maybe in the 80s to the 90s, um, Right now, what he's found is that um, because it's controlled by, by the government, a lot of the GLC boards have uh, bureaucrats or ex-bureaucrats uh, sitting on it. You, you mentioned earlier in your preamble, is the private sector the driving seat for corporate Malaysia? You, know, you have, one, on the other hand, you know, private companies you know, or private entrepreneurs trying to drive the economy and you also have the government trying to be in this part of the... You know, is, is the private sector in the driving seat of the economy? It should be. Uh, it should be but it's not. Uh, I think the Asian Development Bank uh, in 2013 had a study and they found that since the Asian financial crisis of the late 90s, uh, private investment in the Malaysian economy um, has not returned. 
then again, it goes back to the argument, should the government be actively involved in business or should they be encouraging um, private investment in, in business? Um, I think the government, uh, when, when the Prime Minister announced plans uh, for divestment of right. some GLCs, he certainly recognises the need uh, for the private sector to, to really return to be the kind of driving force behind uh, the Malaysian economy. But unfortunately, I, I think um, they, they are still some way of achieving the target of uh, divestments. Right, and, and of course, there's a limitation of the study, right? And how does Professor Gomez intend to bring this study forward? Um, I think he intends for this to be a long-term uh, study. Uh, I think he mentioned during the lecture it was two years. Mm -hmm. Two years. Uh, you know, a topic like this is seldom investigated uh, academically. Uh, it's very tedious to investigate all these oh, six. Very tedious, but very, very necessary, especially if you are attempting to understand uh, the Malaysian economy. Um, because, like it or not, we do have uh, state-owned enterprises uh, operating in the economy, and as I said, um, the impact of GLCs in the economy is yet unknown. For more on the story, pick up a copy of the Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.